Howdy guys, it's Maxi Moore here, and I am bringing you a GM, a new GM mode. It's gonna be a new series. Um, it's a GM mode with the Knoxville Knockouts. Um, it's a creative team. I took the place of the Phoenix Coyotes, and uh, yeah. So, and GM Maxi Moore was coming to town, and he has taken over the Phoenix Coyotes. So here, we'll show you the team. It's not exactly what you you'd accept expect. So the forwards. On the first line, we have... Here, I'll go to the lines. On the first line, we have Snipe Show. This is Tap In For You. And You Can Pray. That is right. Look at these stats. You Can Pray. Look at that physical category. It's three stars. That's decent for our team. Five red star potential. Then we also got Tap In For You with that nice puck skills category. Who will also be getting better. All these players are really crappy right now, I'm going to admit, but they'll be getting better. Don't you worry about that. With four and a half gold stars and Snipe Show, the sniper of the first line. Four green stars. Pretty good shooting category. Pretty good all-around player. And then on the first line defense, we have I'm a Russian, who actually forgot to make Russian. But, uh, yeah, so I kind of feel stupid for that. But he is a rushing defenseman. So, uh, yeah, um, let's check out... Or, uh, let's check out, sorry, uh, by the way, sorry for the phone ringing in the background, um, yeah, I forgot to make him Russian, but that's okay, four green star potential, offensive defenseman, pardon the pun, by the way, and, uh, no goal for you, the four and a half yellow star defensive defenseman, and, yeah, so, uh, that is the first line defensive core, and now on to the forwards, we got power for days on the second line left wing, four and a half gold star power forward, Look at that physical category. Three stars. That's pretty dang good. And then at center, we have defense first. The two-way forward of the top six. Uh, three and a half green star. Pretty good defensive category. Pretty good all around. And on right wing, we have Cheetah, who is like just the fastest man on earth. Four green star. He's 5'8". He's a grinder. 80 speed, which is going to get a lot better. And on defense, we have... Get on the ice, who I actually made a typo in when I was spelling the name, so I made it get icy ice, but ignore that. It's going to be get on the ice for, um, I'm just going to say get on the ice for the rest of the series. And yeah, pretty good defensive category, or physical rather. And uh, with him we have North and South, or North South, who's just a good all-around defenseman. Supposed to be a two-way defenseman, four and a half red star. And on forward, third line we have Grindy. He's just your typical grinder, three and a half green stars. Pretty good overall. He'll get a lot better too. Uh, total knockout or TKO, whatever you want to say. Four yellow stars. Um, he's pretty good too. Good physical category. And then on the right wing we have Top Cheddar, who is a bottom six sniper. We gotta have a sniper on the top six and bottom six, of course. Shooting category is gonna be really good. Four and a half uh, red star. And on defense we have the. Uh, forgot how to brothers, or I guess forgot how to brothers. This is forgot how to defense. Four and a half gold star potential. Offensive defenseman. Pretty. Look at those senses. That's actually really good. It's 75, 81, 76 for poise, and for skating, pretty good. He's a good all-around defenseman. And then with him, we have forgot how to offense, who is the exact opposite kind of player. Has no uh, offensive category at all, but has a wonderful defensive category with full. Four green star p potential, and on the fourth line, we have uh, grinded out four gold star potential. Left wing grinder, good defensive category, good all around player. Uh, centering that line will be pushed through, who's your typical typical power forward with a great, great strength, great physical category. Four uh, green star potential, and on the f fourth line, right wing, we have moves like Yager. Uh, three and a half green star potential, good deking, good everything about the offensive category, not so good defensive, but that's okay. And then in the cage, we have Brick Wall, who is four green star, already a good goal, he's 73 overall. And we have Swiss Cheese as a backup, who, I mean, my friend gave me the idea of this and I couldn't resist. 43 overall backup goalie with freaking 5 green star potential. Let's just see how good he gets. That's going to be like the 
thing of the series, how good Swiss cheese can end up. But yeah, he kind of sucks right now. He's freaking 30 overall, lower than brick wall. But yeah, so that's pretty crappy backup, but we'll, we'll, we'll get by, I hope. And I'll show you the miners, who we got in the miners, uh, potential-wise. Uh, I chose this team because of, uh, it doesn't show him, but uh, I'll, I'll go show you in the contracts. Brandon Gormley, who is a good fenceman. I didn't choose it because of him, but he's a good defensive prospect. I forgot about him, actually. And uh, Max Domi, another good prospect. Uh, in net, they have Mark Byzantine, who's a four gold star. So he's going to turn out pretty nicely. And um, in the contract situation, I'll show you uh, the real reason why I chose this team. I mean, I didn't really think too much, but I couldn't really resist because if you look at... Uh, I'm not sure if he'll, it'll, it should, it sh it'll show him, but it should. Yeah, Lauren Dauphin, he is unsigned. But, um, he looks kind of crappy, but, um, he, if you, if any of you guys, uh, watch Johnny Superman's GM, you, you'll know he's not crappy. Like, he, he turns out to be really good. I've done other GMs, and he's turned out to, like, 90 overall or something like that. So, yeah, I had to choose him because of that. And, yeah, so that is it for the team. Um... I might get a bit of something, something done in this video, but I gotta take care of all the basics. I'm probably, uh, my idea is to not make any trades for NHL players, so don't leave anything down below, um, about, like, trades, because I want to keep pretty much the entire, uh, uh, team together, um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna try and keep the entire team instead of getting any NHL players. I want to see how these guys progress and stuff, and, um, I'm not sure what to call this GM yet, but we'll get to that later. And uh, so yeah, let's get let's take care of the basics. GM tracker. Let's just check if we have any points to apply. Uh, no, we don't. I'm really going for scout because injuries will be turned off. Um, trade players. No trading block. No free agents. No scouting assignment. We gotta check that. Uh, I'm sure you guys all know who I'm probably gonna go for this year. Yeah, this man right here, Aaron Ekblad. Um. My plan, uh, I shouldn't say my plan. Okay, screw that, never mind. I never said that, okay? If anyone's actually still in this video, that I, I never actually said that. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, scout the defenseman in the OHL for six weeks. Um, after that, there is contracts, no team rosters, no, uh, transaction news, no one staff upgrades, no. So, um... I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can do. I guess I could sim a little bit. Um, I'm going to keep this team together, and we're probably going to go like 0 and 82 or something. But <laughs> maybe the name of the GM should be Road to a Win. <laughs> and like in the first season, I wonder if like with 50 overalls and stuff, I wonder if we'll be able to win. Let's see if we can beat the Sharks, dude. That's insane. Let's see. Nine to one. Okay, this is going to be fun. I can already tell this is going to be a really fun season. Four to one. Yep, this sounds. This is going to be a really fun season. Oh shoot! I don't even know if I turned the injuries off. Hold on, I got check. Um, pretty sure I didn't actually. So let's go to customize settings, rules, um, injuries. Yeah, they're still on. Damn. Okay. Um, thank God I checked that. Uh, yeah, that all looks good. Assistant coach will change goalie on. So. Uh, we were going to sim like a month or something in this, uh, thing. Uh, yeah, we'll sim up to right here. Uh, so if we actually get a win, that would be insane. So far, we're 0-4 in the preseason, so. And these aren't even the good teams, like, they're just trying out all the rookies. So this is going to be a really fun season, I can already imagine. If we win a game, like, if we beat someone like the Penguins, that'd be it. Um... Hey, it's your boss. I know that we have to take a long-term approach to the success of this franchise at this stage. Ain't that the truth? Jeez. I'll be happily surprised if you make the playoffs, but won't be angry if you don't. Well, yeah, you're going to be... I think if I was you, I'd be really surprised if we made the playoffs. Not saying anything against this team, but it's just a bit... Just a little bit lacking right now, but we'll get better. Don't you worry about that. So we lose 4-1 to in our first game. You can pray with the first goal. Um... Good old enforcer. Oh, five nothing. <laughs> this is gonna be a really fun season. I wonder if we can win. If we can win a game, six nothing. Yep. Um. Yeah. Six one. I've actually never tried anyone, a uh, GM mode with this kind of team before. Like I've tried it with like real teams and stuff, and I've made up players. Um, but I've never really tried it like just by myself 
with a team that's of this caliber, uh, I'm saying that in a bad way. Like, you know, we're uh, best player is like a 64 overall or something. So I'm just like, ah, uh, well, if you can't break wall as like our best player, then he's actually our best player. But I'm talking about skaters. So we're so far we're 0 and 8. Um, I mean that's a decent start to the season compared to what I would expect. I mean not that we could have done any any worse, but so scouting assignments, defenseman OHL. Six more weeks. Uh, and we will simulate up to here, and we will check all the stats and stuff. <laughs> In nine games, our best player has like three points, I think. Ooh. Oh, but, oh, I don't think I actually mentioned, but, um, uh, there are the four you brothers on this team that tap in for you and the no goal for you brothers. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but if I didn't, then there you go. So, 0 oh, and 12, that's a pretty good start to the season. Uh, good job, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. Um, yep, there's another loss. I swear, I saw W on the screen, it was like, holy crap. Nope. Okay, so, so far we are 0 oh, and 14. Is anyone up there with anything? Um, our abbreviation is TKO, obviously, for total knockout, because we have, like, four, like, enforcers on our team or something along those lines. So, um, what? Winnipeg signed free agent, you can pray to a one-year contract. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Um. Oh, no way. What? Should I have double of everyone? Nah. Damn, man, I didn't know that, that was going to happen. Oh, Eric Carlson, maybe I should pick him up. But Okay, I don't know why these guys are in here. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Whatever, I guess there's going to be two of everyone in this league. Who cares, I guess. I mean, it's not the best, but... Whatever, I don't really care. Is there goalie there, brick wall? Probably. Yeah, he's already been signed, I bet. Let's just check. Hold on, if we go here. Free agent acquisitions. Uh, wait, how do I make it bigger? Uh, I thought it was quick Y, whatever. Whoa, Columbus signed free agent Mike Zigomanis two times to a one-year contract. That's neat. Okay, so, um, stats intro. We'll check uh, how everyone is doing. I'd say, like, a 40-point season would be a good season for any of these players. Tapping for you was six points in 14 games. That's almost a point every two games, which is actually really good for this franchise. Yeah, I would expect him to have the most points. You can pray, doing pretty good too. Four points. Yep. Uh, top cheddar. Yep, 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 yep. I wonder if these guys are going to get better or worse. Like, that's what I'm kind of scared about. If they get worse, then that would kind of suck. <laughs> Look at this Swiss cheese. Three games played, 7.35 goals against average. 19 goals let in in three games on freaking 118 shots. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, brick wall isn't all that better, but I mean, when you have a defense of this caliber, 65, 62, 61, 61, 76, or, uh, sorry, 56, 58, I mean, I guess you expect that. How's the HL team doing? Oh, no, we can't do that. Whatever. Um, How's the HL team doing? We're actually doing okay, 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. Okay, Um, that is not the end of this video, like you guys would probably think. I am going to actually just stay here, but um, I am going to have a giveaway for, um, I'm not sure who I'm giving away, it's going to be someone worth like probably 10k or so, um, in Hockey Ultimate Team of course, um, and the uh, what you have to do to enter into this giveaway is you would have to um, leave a comment down below with the name of this GM mode, like what you think the name should be, um, and if I, like, I'll choose the best name, I'll wait, like, a week or so, and I'll choose the best name, and then that person wins the, um, uh, I'll name the series that, and I'll, uh, like, kind of give them a shout-out in every video in the description, and, uh, yes, and they'll get a 10k player, so, yeah, leave your suggestions down below, and, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, um, yeah, the next GM mode is probably going to be coming out next Tuesday, Unless you want to see one sooner, then uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys.